So when did you leave Europe? You said you left after the war. Oh, so you May? Oh, my end second. of June. End of I June. Didn't catch on. Oh, so, so Asia ended in August. So by the time you got home, practically the war was just about over. That's why I say I'm going back to being an instructor navigator, and the war ended. Waiting for assignment for class. But they'd ask right along for the time the war ended over in Europe, what do you want to do? I had the points, I said, out, out, out. <laughs> but we lost we lost two or three planes on those damn sightseeing missions. We lost about two or three planes in not not due to combat, but due to well takeoff on, on these damn sightseeing missions. I knew one was shot down. I that was I was on one of these missions, and I was in the 455th bomb group. I had hit weather on the sightseeing mission that I was assigned to between Trieste and Fiume, which was alongside the Italian Alps, and it was a violent storm, and I'm one of the pilots who only had five missions. He hadn't even st started flying with his crew. He had a co-pilot who'd only had three missions. He hadn't <laughs> flown with the crew. I had a only th I had a flight engineer on the plane, but this was all by, I was assigned to navigate to show the targets. Had to have the flight engineer that he sat in the Martin upper turret. They were the engineers of the plane. He had one of those. And we had a pilot and a co-pilot, the four of us. And the rest were 10 sightseers. Now we hit that storm. And I didn't want to hit the damn out on the war's over. Take exit 13A to merge onto NJ81 north toward Newark Airport. I could see Graz, Austria, off to the right. Now that's Russian territory. I had been to a briefing. Navigators, go, had, we'd all been called to a meeting that there was a line, and we weren't supposed to go east of that line. That was Russian territory. And as I said, we'd had the storm. I said, well, I'll take you over to Graz, and I'll take you to Wiener Neustadt, we'll go to Vienna, Wien, and then we'll get down the Danube, Amstetten and Wells, and get back on track. It's from going from Graz to, uh, to Wiener Neustadt, where I hit the bomb, I bombed the Messerschmitt 109 factory, and the Marshall Yard, US twice at Wiener Neustadt. We say, we come upon it. We could see a yak field, and the next thing you know, four yaks are at us. One in the nose, one in the tail, two out the wings. They, the pilot didn't know what to do. I told him what to do. Dip his wings to the left, up center, to the right, back to center. That was supposed to be a recognition signal that we were in America. We had this big yellow diamond. One mile. Continue on to Pulaski Skyway North. I better not talk. That's okay. I gotta go. We had this big yellow tail uh, marking on the tail of our plane. Is this confusing him? I thought any, the Russians would certainly know we were the, or they'd find out we were a 740th bomb squadron, 455th bomb group. They came in again the second time. I said, well, apparently they want to take us in. I could see there was another Keep yak right field toward, toward Liberty International at, Airport. at Graz. In three quarters of a mile, continue straight. At, at Vienna, which we, we have bypassed Vienna Neustadt, heading towards Vienna, Wien. And we could see there was a yak field there. The, when we lowered our landing gear, we got down I to 3,000 feet. We, we were flying to eight. Both at beat. The four planes oh. peel off. The pilot said, What do we do? I said, You 
raise the landing gear. I said, we're going to get back on on path. We're going to Amstead and Wells, go down the Danube, get out of here. We did, and I got back to the field. I knew that we had to, I had to tell what had happened. I didn't swear. We told squadrons, squadron told group, group told wing, but they never did anything further, and the very next day, a plane from the 454th ran into the same weather and had the same experience, and the Russians knocked them out of the air, and they were all killed. That was the next day, a plane. But we, I said, we lost two or three planes on these sightseeing missions, not due to Russians or anything else, but due to one, one, now we got off the runway, like that, at the end of the Keep runway. Right toward Newark Airport in Alter. I got it. It's okay. You're good. I just had to turn that off. Okay, I loved it. Go ahead. You're good. I'm, I'm... Okay, you can still want to hear you. So, that's typical of military communication. So, so, unit never gets a no notum was posted on this? We told group, squadron told group. I was told the well, 740 squadron told group that we were in. Group told Wing. Wing never told anybody. And the other. And the other flight, the other flight, flights, flight groups. Squadrons or groups, whatever. What happened? The 455th bomb group for us had a plane, had a field just opposite ours. And a plane from that, the very next day, ran into the weather, just like I had. And they did hit exactly what I had done, flew over into Russian territory, and this time they knocked him out. They were all killed, the plane was gone. Now after that, they were told, if you run in the weather, under no circumstances do you, you turn around and come back. But it was too late. But. But I say we lost planes, but not from Russians or... Uh, driving flights? No, I don't want to check it. Shit, I don't know the difference between level 2 and level 3.